small community of Gardner are trying to mend their broken hearts tonight. They've lost two children to car crashes since the school year began. Now well, tonight the community gathered for a prayer vigil. Christina Medina is here with the story now. Christina. Good evening. Some of the people that were there tonight knew the two young victims and some didn't. But regardless, they tell me their small town is hurting as they grieve their tremendous loss. Singing Amazing Grace, this group remembered two lives cut way too short. We just needed to uplift. The prayer vigil tonight was in front of Madison Elementary, where last week seven-year-old Cade Meyer died after he was hit by a car. Beautiful seven-year-old boy, active and adventurous, and I say wonderful gift to the Sunday school program. Pastor Dan Waymeyer helped organize the public visitation earlier today. Hundreds of people showed up to say their final goodbyes. It's a great asset to the community, and and we want to hold them and hold them up right now as they go through this loss. And then tonight, more people showed up to mourn the loss of Cade, but also 16-year-old soccer star Andrew Hurd. He died last month in a crash. I write on his Facebook wall like almost every night because I just tell him how much I miss him. It's just outrageous how that, like how big it's affecting the community and everything. But with events like tonight, it's amazing how strong this community really, really is. People will come together for him, and that's just what Gardner does. This small town is starting to heal their broken hearts. They are planning another event next weekend. It's focusing on the kids. For more information on that, just log on to NBC Action News. Christina Medina, NBC Action News.